people, pardon the voice, okay? But I'm going to deal with the particular question today. And uh, the question of this, uh, of this particular one is about gold investments. There have been many, many of friends of mine who have asked me about, hey Roy, let me ask you this question. Hey man, what about uh, investing in investing in gold, man, or silver, or investing in this and that, and uh, you know, I say no. Why would you invest? Let's just just take gold for instance. Why would you invest in any of those? Why? Why? Even if you had physical possession of it, what gives it value? Not you. You're the only person that will give it value. Because if it comes down, if it comes time for you to actually use it for something in a situation, you're not going to get anywhere for va fair value for it. It's it's a waste. It's a waste of your your time, it's a waste of your resources. It's a waste. Again, I'm, I, oh, you're still asking why. Still asking why, right? Uh, well, when have you ever found an accurate, an accurate study done that could give you an actual estimate of the metric tonnage of gold on the planet of the earth, on, on earth. Can you find that for me? No, you can't, can you? You can't, because they control it. That's why. You gotta understand, that's how they control the value of it. Do you understand what the physical possession of this thing in their hands is that they can remelt this thing and re-put numbers on top of the bars again and constantly keep perpetuating the same type of things that's going on right now in the economy and all over the place? Do you know that even holding it, you're still gonna have to have a piece of paper and have it registered? And when it's time for them to pick it up, they come and pick it up. You will never own it. Never. I, you know what? Right off the bat, I, I remember a buddy of mine. He called me over to his home one day. And he was so excited. Hey, man, I got to tell you something. And I said, what's that? Come on over. I came over. Um, hey, man, uh. I made a great investment. Well, tell me about it. Well, hey, man, I invested in gold. I said, wow. I said, okay, I accept that, good. I mean, at least you made a decision. How many, you made a decision to help yourself right now for your future? Because I always, I always tell people, prepare today for tomorrow's success, okay? So I, I figured, okay, just preparing, that's fine. But I like, can I see it, man? Do you have it? And uh, he was like, no, I don't have it. The company has it. What are you talking about the company has $1,800 of your gold? Yeah, they have it. They said they're storing it for me and keeping it safe for me. What kind of sense is that? But again, if common sense was common, everybody would have some, okay? I mean, my goodness, if you're gonna buy it, put your hands on it. Get, and get 24 karat, know what you're getting, make sure you're getting from a reputable place and know what you're doing. At least step up to the plate if you're gonna do it. But don't let somebody else hold your investment, hold your wealth earnings, Oh, your net worth right there? 
It's a yourself, to, and then I said, well, okay, he said, oh, I understand that, oh yeah, you know what, I understand now. Let me go ahead and see if I can contact him. And now all of a sudden he had an early withdrawal fee, he had to pay taxes on the money, and actually lost on the transaction. And you know what? He didn't go through with it. Because he said by taking out the money, he was just gonna lose too much money. So he'd just rather leave it there. A waste of $1,800. And just think of how many millions and upon millions, if not billions of people, do the same exact thing and leave it sitting right there. It's not a good investment. You know what? If you want to invest in something, invest in something you can actually, that can't go away. You need to invest in a house. And you are paid off house. You need to get land. Paid off land. And then it's all you got to do is pay your taxes. Pay your tribute. That's where the word taxes come from. It comes from the word tribute. You go pay your tribute to the landowner because you never own the land anyway. You're nothing but a slave anyway. You pay your taxes to the landowner. So you pay your tribute every year even though you own the place. But at least as a slave you would own the place. And it'll help you build your material wealth in the slave, in the feudalistic society that we live in. Come on, people. You gotta understand that the, the past is the the past is the present. You have to understand the past to understand yourself. And once you understand yourself, you can understand your future. And without that, you will never know what your future is, and your entire life will be lost. All of the investments that you make, you will lose money. You won't have anything. You have to have to secure the material wealth in this feudalistic society. You must have, you have, must have paid off real estate. And that's the bottom line on it. If you want to know who owns everything, there's a book you can read called Who Owns the World? Is the name, is the title of the book. Who Owns the World? There's one and two. It's, it's hands down the best that's been done and get that book, I think you'll learn an awful lot, okay? But remember, never take anything that I say, never, remember, always test information. Because too many people out here seem to have an, an, an answer for everything. Don't believe a word that's coming out of my mouth. You take that information, you research the information for yourself, and you make an educated, mature decision. And, and you will make the best, and you, won't, and you can't make a mistake. If it's meant to work out, it'll work out. If it's not meant to work out, it won't. Okay? Constantly strive to better yourself every day. When you wake up in the morning, you should be thinking about how can I make myself a better person today? How, because when I make myself a better person inside, then I'm capable of making better, sane decisions in my investment making decisions and I'll make more money, I will increase my wealth, I'll have a better lifestyle in my future. Creating my own reality by realizing my future vision today. This is how you avoid mistakes. And remember, all the things that you have done in the past are not mistakes. Don't beat yourself up. Even though you might have made some bad investments in the past, even, even relationships, you never made a mistake because you made the best decision you could at the time with the information that was available and you didn't make a mistake. But 
when you do receive that education, you do under you have that true deep understanding of the concept because just reading it is not the deep understanding of this concept that I am discussing with you today. You have to deeply internalize this. And once you deeply internalize, then you will know how to progress forward. I wish you the best of luck in your investment futures. I have been, I have done very well for myself. I have done very well for myself. And I want success for you as well. Like I said, I've created the deodorant and I and I think it was inspired to make. Visit me at www.theilluminatedsage.com and, and, and do business with me. And let's help build each other. Let's help build each other in a positive building nature. Okay? Let's have positive things to say. And even if it's, trust me, always look at the glass half full. And that you must change for yourself. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. Okay? Have a good day. Stay positive with yourself. All right. Take care.